Losers only see obstacles. Winners only see opportunities. And this is the fundamental mindset of why people who are constantly winning at life continue to win at life, right? It's kind of like the old saying, how it goes, the rich get richer, the poor get poorer, right? It all comes back to how you see the world, right? It all comes back to your mindset, your inner philosophy, okay, your reality. You, I mean, everybody faces the same challenges out there, okay? Everybody does. Everybody deals with the same idiots out there. Everybody deals with the same, like, social retardation out there. It's just a matter of what you're going to do about it, right? Because again, losers, when it comes to some, when it comes to achieving something, anything, right? Whether it's getting a hot girlfriend, whether it's getting a new job, whether it's getting in a better shape, all they see is obstacles. All they do is make excuses, right? They might see a pretty girl and go, oh, she probably has a boyfriend. Oh, she probably looks, she looks like a bitch. Oh, she's probably a lesbo. She's probably one of those like modern day feminists that M's always talking about, right? They're constantly looking for excuses. Or if they want to start a business, right? They might say, oh man, every, all the people who run online business, they're all a scam. It's all a scam. I don't want to be a scam artist. Or they might be like, oh, it's already saturated. No, you can never make money doing that. <laughs> or if they want to lose weight, get six pack abs. Oh my guys, those guys are all on steroids, right? They're all cheating the system, right? There's always some sort of excuse to relieve them of the responsibility to take action, right? There's always something. As my old football coaches say, excuses are like assholes. Everybody has one. And he would always say, you have a choice. Either you're going to make excuses or you're going to get it done. Right? And that is the main difference between losers and winners. Winners aren't out there constantly looking for excuses. They're not out there looking for obstacles. And even when they come across obstacles, they don't even see it as an obstacle. They see it as an opportunity. Period. Okay? Period. You see, th you see things as an opportunity and not obstacles. I've always said, we are living in a time. Unlike no other time in history where you have all of the opportunity in the world to become rich, to become successful, to take care of your family, to do the things that you want to do in life, okay, without a whole lot of barriers to get to your goal, right? I mean, there's always going to be some type of barrier, right? But again, are you going to look for reasons not to take action or are you simply going to man up? and actually take action, okay? Because excuses, as much as my old coach used to say they're for assholes, I mean, excuses are really what you do when you're stuck in your feminine energy, right? That's essentially what women do. This is why they're constantly accused of not having any agency, not, um, not ever taking responsibility for any decisions they make. They always place the blame on somebody else. So if you are doing that today, that is because you are in your feminine frame, okay? Cry me a river. I was boo-hoo, life is so hard, life is so hard, give me a break, right? One thing I've noticed is uh, my students, me included, that came from a uh, an upbringing where we didn't have a whole lot, right? I had lots of brothers and sisters, my parents were both blue collar, and uh, you know, we struggled financially growing up, didn't have a whole lot of luxury around us, right? And uh, we had, we would have to share a lot of things, share clothes, hand-me-downs and all that. Uh, one thing I've noticed with students who've gone through similar, right, where they didn't come from luxury, they, their parents weren't, you know, like doctors or lawyers or anything like that, and they struggled financially. I notice those, those, those guys um, tend to hit the pavement a lot harder. They're not looking for excuses because they know they can't rely on somebody else to do it for them. Right, they can't rely on anyone else to, you know, make their make their dreams happen. They have to do it. Whereas the students that I've had, um, and I haven't had many that have come from like a whole lot of wealth, but the ones that I've had that have come from an upbringing where their parents had money, they lived in a nice neighborhood, uh, 
they didn't have to worry about what they were going to eat that day. They never had to deal with hand me downs. Uh, you know, some of them might have only been like only children where they got like only child syndrome and they didn't have to deal with brothers and sisters what you know and whatnot uh, I noticed these kids who grew up without having to struggle or see their parents struggle these are the kids that you look for the most excuses these are the kids that perpetrate that victim ideology onto other people onto other kids they're the ones who are like oh you know it's not important for money. You don't need to get any money. Why? Because they got a trust fund. Because their parents have money, right? It's the most pussy ass type of just coward, you know, like cowardless type of uh, philosophy that you can instill in anybody, right? It's like, okay, you have luxury, but you know what? Most people don't. Most people cannot rely on their parents' you know, trust fund. Most people cannot go back to their parents' mansion if things go wrong, right? Most of us have to go out there and we have to make it happen. We have to bet on ourselves. We have to gamble on ourselves. And I came from that, okay? I placed plenty of bets on myself, lost a whole lot, lost everything I had, made a lot of dumb decisions, but you know what? Inevitably, I found my footing and I became successful. And you know what? I wasn't out there looking for excuses. I wasn't out there like, oh my gosh, these obstacles, it's so hard. Oh, there's this market so saturated. There's so many people in it. No, I just went out and got it done, son. I went out and took action. I mean, at the time where uh, I started my uh, pickup business, right? I mean, that was already like the late 2000s when I got involved in that. I mean, I was like really where I really just placed all my bets on it. Right. It wasn't until then, whereas, you know, if I could go back, I probably would have skipped my corporate job and just went for the business. But then again, I did learn a lot from my corporate job. So everything happens for a reason. I learned a lot about marketing and advertising and all this that I eventually used in my business. So, <clears throat> um, so yeah, everything happens for a reason. Regardless, when I finally just put all my eggs in one basket, right, this was already like 2008 around then. Everybody was like, man, this is a dying art form. Dudes aren't doing it anymore. It's all a scam and all this. And I, that's just never how I saw it. Never how I taught. Never taught canned routines or anything like that. I was always like, okay, my way works. I've never had any students who are like pissed at me. Like, oh my gosh. This is, I mean, all my students were pretty successful. And I was like, I even if I don't make a million doing this, I'm going to have a whole lot of fun. I always meet cool dudes doing this. I always meet high value guys. Um, you know, and I enjoy it. I, I'm like, I like teaching and this is what I, I feel like I could add the most value to guys. And this is what I want to do. Right. And of course, everybody's like, oh, you know, it's like there's so many pickup companies out there and it's just like a bad idea. And uh, you can really, can't really do anything with this. And of course, they were all wrong. I was right because I didn't see those obstacles. I just saw opportunities. Right. I saw the opportunity to meet high value guys, saw the opportunity to make a little money on the side. I saw the opportunity to free myself and not have to show up to a corporate job. I mean, all I saw were opportunities and uh, lo and behold, uh, it, it grew beyond my wildest imagination. And now I don't really have any challengers in sight. I mean, I'm literally like one of the last like real POAs out there that is actually teaching and still around and I've been around the longest and I'll continue to teach for as long as I can. I mean, I just don't see any competition in sight. I mean, back in the day, the competition was a thousand times better than it is today. I mean, because so few guys are learning this stuff and most guys have just thrown in the towel on women, which I don't advise you do completely. Just modern women, yeah, throwing the towel on them. Feminists, throwing the towel on them. But as far as um, like good women, no, there's still good women out there. They want to get boyfriends and get into LTRs, get married. They don't want to ride the carousel. So uh, it's unfortunate a lot of guys have written it off or a lot of guys are afraid or they're afraid of being like, oh, you know, uh, you know, women today and blah, 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 whatever it is. But uh, uh, I don't really have any challengers in sight. I mean, I usually back in the day, I used to walk in these venues and I mean, there, there was a lot of competition, very talented guys, too. Whereas nowadays I walk in the venue, I'm like the best one in there, you know, like, like and I'm not even trying to brag or you know, flex, but I mean, usually when I walk in the venue, I'm like the top dog 
and guys are mesmerized and I'm walking circle, I'm just running circles around them. Guys who are like half my age, it's, oh my gosh, like who would never believed it. They're like, who is this older guy walking in with this dumb flame leather boots and his peacocking and his earrings and his dumb rings? And then all of a sudden I'm like, G -g 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 -g, and taking all the girls and then leaving. And they're like, what happened? How did he do that? Did he know them? You know, it's just crazy, right? It's crazy. It's almost like being the last Jedi or something. You have the secret, the secret power that nobody's learning. So now it's it's benefiting me even more because they're just there's just no competition out there, right? And the few guys still teaching this uh, st this stuff on uh, on YouTube or anywhere else are mostly what I would deem as players. They're not really pickup artists. They're just players. They're just going out there. They have good opening game. They've uh, they don't have approach anxiety. They're they're just players because they're just looking for to lay as many hot women as possible and have sex with as many hot women as possible. I've never taught that. I've always taught guys, you know, you want to be selective, go for the women that you can see yourself dating, being in a relationship with, because if you're just going out there and, you know, vacuously living this lifestyle of banging hot women, you're going to feel empty. You're going to feel depressed inside. You might catch an STD. Uh, and one of these chicks will possibly, you know, try to come after you and say, oh, I didn't approve of this sex, you know, whereas that's never happened to me, never happened to any of my students either, because I teach these guys to be selective and, you know, do things the right way and, uh, you know, find girls that they genuinely connect with, right? And they share the same values, beliefs with, not just like, oh, hot girl, let me try to pull her pants down. That's easy, man, that's not hard to come by. But what's hard to do is uh, to look for women who are your specific type and then approach those women get them attracted to you get them in your life date them and you know whatever else you want to do marry them <laughs> have kids it's up to you i've had plenty of students who've gotten married to very high caliber women that are still traditional conservative supportive nurturing and way outside of their looks range so a lot of success stories but if i had listened to everybody and just looked at these obstacles back in the day uh, and like hey just go back to your corporate job it's safe I probably would have done that, but I don't listen to people. I just listen to me, right? I listen to myself. Regardless, um, when it comes to anything in life, don't look for the excuse. Don't look to, you know, look at everything as ob an obstacle. Instead, see that obstacle and go, how can I turn that into an opportunity? How can I turn that little challenge there into a win? How can I use that to benefit me? Right? You have to be clever. You have to think kind of like a hustler, right? And most people don't. Most people, uh, most people think like victims because, unfortunately, that is what the mainstream has plugged into your head. You victim. You victim. Can't get it done. Oh, everyone's a racist and a white supremacist. You get, won't get it done in this world, mister. And it's like, what? Uh, I mean, you've got to be the biggest loser in the world to A, believe that, B, live your life like that, and C, never take action in a time in history, what it, which is right now, where it's never been easier to become successful. It's never been easier to achieve your goals. It's never been easier to learn from mentors who are, who are doing exactly what you want to do, right? Just go on YouTube. It's never been easier. So when I hear guys talk like that, I, I'm like, cry me a river. Boo-hoo. I don't feel sorry for you. You're a little bitch and you just can't get it done. Okay? So just take the L and go home if that's what you want to do. But if you're on my channel, don't do that, right? I want you to take my advice and go out there. Stop looking for excuses. Stop looking at things as obstacles and start looking at them as opportunities. It might take some practice, right? If you're not used to doing this, but, uh, or if you grew up in a household where you had things given to you or you were spoiled or your parents had money, you know, you never had to fend for yourself. Right, it's gonna take a little more work, but for guys who grew up poor or you know not, you know very middle class like I did, um, you already have that gene where you're just a lot more clever, and you try to stretch your dollar, or you try to like, you know, you value, you value the dollar, you value your time, and you value, value, <laughs> right? So you'll be able to appreciate it more, and you're just naturally more inclined to be a little bit more of a hustler, a little bit more clever, because I, I've always taught you guys, you know, it's one thing to be smart, it's another thing to be clever, right? Smart will get you good grades, smart will get you a good job, smart will allow you to pay your bills, but clever will make you rich. Clever will retire you. Clever will give you the world at your fingertips. And with that said,
Drop your comments below, gentlemen. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Anything you would like to add, anything you would like to share, anything I might have missed, please drop them in the comments below. I always love to see you guys in my comments. I always love to read your comments, so please feel free to drop your comments below. And until next time, this is Matt Cross from Alpha Male Secrets signing out here from my Range Rover, right? This is one of the last series of coaching videos I'm doing here in my Range Rover. <sighs> still hard it's really hard to let this car go but this is the last series of coaching videos i'm doing in here um so don't forget to smash the like button below smash that like button right now also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified whenever i release a brand new coaching video here on the youtube more importantly guys please make sure you subscribe to my channel it helps me out a ton when you actually subscribe to my alpha male secrets channel i've been checking my analytics man and too many of you guys are still not yet subscribed to the Alpha Male Secrets channel here on the YouTube. So please make sure you're subscribed as well. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And, uh, you know, just, just help a brother out and subscribe. And for you guys who love my work and all of this amazing content I'm teaching you here on the Alpha Male Secrets, uh, the best way to support my work is becoming a premium member of my premium alpha male secrets channel which i am hosting on a private platform away from youtube and the reason i'm doing that is because i'm protecting my content from youtube in the event they try to shut me down one day they won't be able to because all my content will be protected it is being protected on my private platform so this is the absolute best way to support my work is becoming a premium alpha male secrets subscriber on my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which is being hosted on a private platform. Right now, it's only a buck for the entire first month of premium Alpha Male Secrets content from me. So take advantage of it, okay? All you need to do is click the link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now, and I will see you in my next coaching video. I'm out.